What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can format and create new partitions using PowerShell in Windows 10. Now PowerShell is a very powerful tool and uh, you can use it to do this but it is a long-winded process but I'm just going to show you uh, some of the ways you can do it just for uh, educational purposes. Let's just take a look at how we can go about doing this. So first off we have got a drive here on our system and you can see it here okay and uh, what we're going to do is uh, redo this drive so imagine this had load of data on there and uh, we want to rewipe this drive here so let's go ahead and do that so what we're going to do first is go down to the start button now you can either right click here and open up PowerShell with admin or you can come down here and type Windows PowerShell and then you can right click on this part here and, and run this as administrator click yes to the user account control here and this will open up the uh, PowerShell box here now it looks very like a, a command prompt box and it's pretty much the same thing really but it's a different uh, color here and also a different type of uh, beast PowerShell is a way more advanced uh, than a command prompt here now some of the commands you have to use are very long and uh, much more longer than command prompt but it's much more complex so let's go ahead and uh, do it so what we're going to do here first is type get dash disk and uh, this is going to find the disks on the hard drive and you can see it's found two disks here we have a 1.82 terabyte drive and uh, this is the one we're going to be working with and it has a drive letter of or drive number of zero so what we want to do next is go get dash disk and then we're going to choose our number now if your number is a different number here you want to make sure you've got the right number inside here okay next you want the uh, vertical line here and uh, this is your vertical lines next up we want to do clear disk like so and then we want to go space dash and then we want to go remove data like so and what that's going to do is remove the data on that drive so let's push enter here and it will say you sure you want to do it it's going to erase this drive here I'm going to say Y for yes and this will then start to remove that data and that's now been completed now if we look at the drive now you'll see that it's now disappeared it's uh, completely wiped all that data so what we're going to do is we're going to go initialize exactly the same thing dash disk and then the and then the actual number itself this will then initialize that disk and now we need to type in another uh, command here okay now for speed I'm going to paste this in because of uh, the amount of time it's going to take but basically what that's going to do is go new partition dash disk number which is now drive number uh, use maximum size that means it's going to use the whole volume the whole drive uh, format the volume which is formatting the drive itself choose a file system called NTFS and it's also you can see here the new file system label that's naming the drive and it's going to name that drive archive so that's what we're going to call it so I'm going to push enter here and straight away you'll see it start to do that now and that's now been completed now if we look here now you still can't see the drive but we're just going to quickly show you disk management here and you can see here what it's done it's got the drive ready uh, but we now need to do one more step and we need to give it a, a drive letter and everything else so let's go ahead and do that now and this will finish the uh, process off so the command you want to do is the get dash partition dash disk number and this is your uh, disk number here and also we're going to set this partition and we're going to give it a drive letter of D push enter here you may see a bit of red uh, come up here but that's okay 
So I'm just going to paste in this command here. I'm going to do another one. Uh, Drive D was uh, in use here. So we're going to try Z. And there we go. It's come up. So we've done Z now. We've got Z in a go. And we can see Archive. And we can now go into here and use that drive so basically that's it there so you just need to put in that command make sure you've got a, a drive letter that's not in use here sometimes it does come up with this error message but it should be okay uh, sometimes when you use the right drive letter uh, and pretty much that's it that's basically how you can prepare format and set a new partition and get it uh, initialized inside PowerShell. Anyway, I hope this one helps you out, guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys. All the commands will be in the video description. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, you can go to my main YouTube channel here, click on the red subscribe button, and also what's really important is hit that bell notification button, and this will notify you when I upload new videos. Take care. Bye for now.